Hey, I'm Tatiana and welcome to 10 Minute Tasks. In today's video, I'm going to talk about Swedish death cleaning. You might have heard of it, you might have not. I will go into this video explaining what Swedish death cleaning is and what I am already doing to be in alignment with that philosophy and concept. So what is it? Well, it's a concept that you are cleaning for people who will have to clean up after you when you die. Um, well, that's interesting because some people, they might feel like they have that knowing that they're going to die. So what are they doing to leave their loved ones with their burden? So this is a very sensitive topic. I believe that I don't know when I'm going to die. I could die any day. I feel like I have a responsibility for the people after me to clean up my space and organize my space because it'll just make it smoother for them, easier for them, because it's already a really hard thing to mourn someone and to put that burden on them when they are trying to mourn, it's, I would say maybe it could be a little bit easier to go into the mourning process if things were a little more simplified. So I've had this practice already before hearing about Swedish death cleaning. I'm not gonna be here at some point, I don't know when that is, but I'm very grateful for every day that I have that I'm alive. But when I die, I really want to almost like give a gift to my family and the people who will close out the chapter in my life. And I believe that we're all specks of dust life is empty and meaningless and I don't mean that in a negative way and whew, okay let's shake this off because that's I'll talk about another deep subject which is future self-cleaning this is a practice that I do often because my future self I believe is there and I want to serve my future self. So when I clean or organize, I often forget about it. In the future, I go to that place or I have an intention and it's easier because my past self did that for me, cool. That's awesome, thank you, past self. And I also try to give myself lots of grace because I can be hard of myself. I can say, why didn't you do that for me? And that's hard for me to digest. There you go. So I clean for Swedish death cleaning and I clean for my future self. Who do you clean for? <laughs> Why are you cleaning? Are you cleaning because you want your future self to come in and maybe sit down on the couch that doesn't have ketchup all over it? <laughs> or are you 
organizing your paperwork. Okay, it's tax time right now, so this might come in handy. But organize your paperwork so that if so anyone sat down at your desk, they could figure out what you were up to. It's, it's all recorded and written and organized and it's simple, but also your prized possessions. So your things that are so special to you, just really setting things up so that it's all intentional when you come to the end of your life and you pass on and your loved ones will be there for you and put things away, go through your things, donate what they can, and you know, that's a process for them. So the more you can facilitate with making that transition a little bit easier, I think that's a good service. Well, thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video, you can give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel and tap the notification bell too to be notified of the very next video. Thanks and we'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.